AVDP, which is a six years value chain project, is part of a grant and a loan agreement mainly between IFAD and the government of Sierra Leone to support the cultivation of oil palm, cocoa, inland valley swamp rice, and vegetable. This is done through the adoption of climate smart agricultural practices. 43,000 smallholder farming households are targeted, with 40% women and 40% youth involvement. Production and productivity of oil palm and cocoa is one of the objectives. Over 5,000 hectares of new oil palm and 6,000 hectares of cocoa plantations will be cultivated mostly in the various oil palm and cocoa belt areas of Sierra Leone. Already, 4,500 individual farmers have outplanted and now own one hectare of either cocoa or oil palm. The project manager in high engagement with community stakeholders emphasized that the seedlings that the AVDP brought into the country are hybrid seeds and therefore they need less than three years for them to be productive. The seed and wood, the carrots, the old palm seedlings there, they're also very expensive but because they are very good variety to them and they go where you plant them quick, the thing don't grow, you have for harvest, you have for getting more. The project they do all that they for now, for make the farmer then come more out of poverty. Emphasis are placed on climate smart agricultural approach to protect the environment. Beneficiaries operate in groups of 25 to 30 members, including women and people with disabilities. 25 years old Seya Kamara of Kabombe community in the Bombali district is now a proud owner of an oil palm plantation. Seya says the future is very promising for her and the entire household. Then train me say, three years if we begin born. If this is the bomb, then we they eat the banga, we they pull it by night, we they able to sell for pay for picking their school, we they able to solve your own problem. A man not go do anything now for you, we they able to do it for you safe. And they be don't say we say we the woman they for come out being yard. First time now we they be in yard, but now for come out, we back for map stronger for picking their school, no picking their land. Technology is transferred through the farmer fee school approach. A farmer-led on-site teaching and learning methodology where basic agronomic practices and hands-on farming skills are facilitated by trained extension officers from the Ministry of Agriculture. It will increase the livelihood and income of 11,000 farming households over the period of six years. The objective of this component is actually to enhance the economic viability of you know, tree crops and uh, climate resilience of oil palm and cocoa and link them to private sector markets. Over the years, low private sector investments, lack of high yielding inputs and technology have slackened the growth of oil palm and cocoa. However, IFA through the Ministry of Agriculture is supporting national research institutions like Jala University for technical backstopping and undertaking pre-nursery of seedlets while the Sierra Leone Agricultural Institute Slurry is supported to rejuvenate the Pendable and Poabo cloner gardens to reduce future importation. With the advent of the AVDP, Slurry has been able to establish 15 hectares of cocoa, 10 hectares in Pendable where we are, and then 5 hectares in Poabo. And um, the materials we use in the establishment of the 15 hectares 80 to 90 percent we are going from the Reading University Quarantine Center, RUQ in Kew Garden, UK. And these materials are free of pests as well as diseases. AVDP has actually contributed tremendously to slurry by helping us um, establish collaboration with the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA. The end result of the AVDP project under slurry. Hand pollination or what you call manual pollination 
the potential of this project, the AVDP, has for the country is that um, in two or three years' time, for us to be able to get um, improved hybrids, those hybrids will be supplied to smallholder farmers in the country. Four thousand five hundred hectares of IVS will be developed over the project's lifespan. Currently, one thousand two hundred hectares is under development and rehabilitation, targeting one thousand five hundred households in one hundred and twenty communities. They are being supplied with seed guides, tools, and technical knowledge through the farmer fee schools. Stimulus Facility RPSF is supporting bulb onion cultivation. Onion is highly consumed in Sierra Leone and over 18 million US dollars is spent on its importation annually. AVDP is supporting local farmers to produce onion that can match the quality and availability of imported varieties. These activities involve women in Putloko, Koinadogu, Kaine, Falaba District and the Western area. Rowal and Modia in Lungi have huge potentials to grow bulb onion on a much larger scale. The farmers here are particularly upbeat. Here, local women producers are the key players and main beneficiaries. They operate in groups of 30 members each, including persons with disabilities. Overall, 14,000 farmers have benefited since the inception of the RPSF in 2021. Most of them are household heads. The project provides them with climate resilient, high yielding and fast growing seeds, as well as equipment for land preparation, transplanting, labor cost, women friendly processing and storage equipment to enhance production, productivity and market access. We tell AVDP thank you. For cow with Yabaski, cow with medicine, cow with tools, machine, chemical, dryer, or dry your bars, follow your bars, they know you Previously, profit was not forthcoming because processing, preservation, and value addition were major challenges in attracting the market. Because big buyers as well as small scale consumers were concerned about the quality of the locally produced varieties. But the effort supported RPSF is a big boost in changing this narrative. Most of these farmers were forced to accept unfavorable loans that were not productive. But they say things are much better now thanks to IFAD and AVDP. Then first will be the trust. Who can't be with business woman, eh? then we will trust we money for plants. At the end, when you are around, you get for work back you pay. But now, we know the trust. What you will pull, now will they use, buy uniform for you picking, eh? feeding, the balance, you put on business. Though women make up about 60% of the farming population and contribute to around 65% of the labor force in production, access and ownership to agricultural land for women is a huge challenge. But over 4,000 women now have access and permanent ownership to land. 28 years old Zainab Lamboy lost her parents to Ebola when the outbreak almost swept her entire community. As a youth contractor, Zainab is a proud beneficiary of a hectare of oil palm plantation. So to all that we have to the families here, to have to place it even here to come up with them. Because place it, any other place you have to go to, go to any other place. So here we have to put them. You know, if you have a family now, you go to me assign it. You have to sign it. Now we have to guarantee that you have to make your place it. Mary Sivali is a high school dropout with three children. Her husband is unemployed and cannot even afford to provide basic household amenities as well as sending their children to school. As a proud beneficiary of a cocoa plantation, May is hopeful that the life will get better after she starts harvesting her cocoa farm. 
Ya ti na ya ole na adogboji. So ma ma gele lo gi sani ma ga sati ga ma ta be isani ma ga ti ga ma ye dogboji eya ma nya ole ka ma le mu lo ko he ye ka ka riji bu igbe pe si na mo e mu na fa so na be mu legacy a lo di ma school mu nya ni go he mu ya e na ji gbe pe go e mu ya. Ma gu lo mu mu legacy ti support yi. The project encouraged community stakeholders and land owning authorities to make land available through a land lease agreement that guarantees unhindered access and ownership to women. Oh, then get right to buy my own property, women and man. So man, a woman then get right to buy property. I don't care if you buy a woman, you can't get a woman. So now we put the law on our one thing. The old man witness say, the woman then get out of the land. If I die, she have nobody no care for ask her. So for each time tomorrow, when I don't die, if he would think because they go to live there, so they no go punish me. Gender education training through the Gender Action Learning System and the Financial Action Learning Systems was rolled out through the Farmer Fee School methodology to create gender equality awareness. Then they see the consciousness, realization of the roles and responsibilities, and especially their rights, because for too long uh, they've been doing at the back. So if I see it uh, as a concern, that wherever they need more money, they really pay for see that when the woman they need. Community acceptability now makes way for men and women to work together as partners in livelihood and income generation, as well as community development. The women are particularly positive about this transformative achievement that ensures equal opportunity to available resources that will inspire social economic growth and development. <laughs> Yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.